Hello there lads, lasses and all of the life forms, the Almighty Blob here and welcome back to Kona! Now, we are in the house, We've, we found the husband in the woods, going into his car, having a little camp, and sadly got killed. Now we've found his wife in their house, and he's keeping something in the safe. So I think it's B. Correct, and then I think it was seven three nine. There we go. Okay. We've been down. There we go. William Hamilton is a crook. He has been blackmailing everyone in the village, myself included, like the infamous Seraphin Pudia. In this document is proof of every bribe paid by Hamilton to the federal authorities in regard to the acquisition of his damn mine. The fact that he has used his henchmen to install terror within the village will not sway the tribunals down in Montreal. But the fact that he has been bribing government officials surely will. I can already picture it making the front page. The English are all the same. We will prevail. Written with different ink. Hamilton is not only a crook, but a murderer. I do not know... Do not believe in his remorse. I firmly believe he will pay for his crime. I do not believe in... It's a language, but I do believe in their vengeance. So what's the picture? Can I have a look at the picture? No. No, I can't look at the picture. But the picture's got something. I can't see the picture. Ah, there we go. Oh, it's a briefcase and a handshake. Okay. So that's told us about the Hamilton who has been murdered into the shop. Um... Oh, it's night time outside. Oh, no. Yeah, let's have a look. Right, so we've got... It seems like Hamilton's bought the entire thing. Why is this smoking? The crossbow bolt stuck into the wooden stairs reminded Carl of the arrow that was said to have hit Achilles' heel. But who was the intended Achilles this time? Okay. That's weird. Oh, God. That's not my van, is it? Is it? Oh, it is. How did that get here? What? Really? <laughs> I'm sure I left that miles away. Oh, no, no. I don't like it that it's dark. I can't see the fucking map. Really? Oh, I'm not liking this. I don't know where I am. Oh, why is it night time? I didn't know I didn't... Is there a day and night cycle? I need to get out to look at this fucking map. Where am I? Bedard. We never went to Roy's. Do I need to go to Roy's? I might have to go to Roy's. Okay, let's go to Roy's. Roy's seems like a good place to go. And it's... Um, down that way? Yes, it is. Okay, let's go to Roy's. Alright, we're here. We're here. I think we're here. I can't see the map, so I don't know. Oh, fucking loading screens. Come on, come on, quickly, quickly. I've got the tension up now. I don't need to blow it up. Come on, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa, Roy's house. Let's turn the van around just in case. If I have to make a run for it. Can I focus? What's the eye for? Oh, we've got a dog. A trailer. What the fuck was that? Oh, it's a fucking bush. <laughs> fucking scared by a bush. Oh my god. This is fucking creepy. The way that you can look through the windows. Hello? Roy? Let's check the bin. 
empty bottle. Okay, we've got a we got a fireplace. Note from Genie Barn. We fled, it was getting too dangerous. More people live in North Manasa Manaston. It will be safer there. Gian Roy. Okay. It was a classic Canadian house, except for the absent horde of kids that would normally be swarming about. Can I turn the light on? Have we got the light switch anywhere? I thought the light switch would have been here. I guess not. Can we? Yes. There we go. We've got a bit of light. There we go. Just one more move and White is checkmated. Game over. It seems the game was abandoned right before the final strike came down. Oh, I keep thinking that someone's going to peer through the window and look at me. Nope. Not working. Okay, we'll have that. I don't... I'm, I'm trying to... I, I know that they said this game was a bit of a survival. But I haven't come across any survival yet. Unless they just mean the heat. It could have been. It could have been just that. No, get away. Close. No, not that one. Nope. Oh, what's that? Matches. Anything in the oven? There is something in the oven, but not important. Right, what's the note? Matthew had yet to add murderer to his curriculum. He was fond of new experiences, especially the most thrilling ones, and taking the life of a flesh and bone individual, who the night before was still able to think, dream, fantasize, calculate, read. Held the promise of exhilarating sensations. Unlike Raskolnikov, it wasn't about axing an old Jewish hag to pieces to test some lunatic theory. Not all Matthew just wanted to know how it felt. It seemed so simple. Horribly simple. He didn't have any particular victim in mind, but like most people, his desires ran quite wildly. So he only had a vague idea of them in mind. He pondered using a rifle or a knife, assassinating a young girl or an old man. He tried to focus on particular practicality. practicality. His victim would have been... To be defenseless, bodybuilding wasn't exactly Matthew's strong suit. He would have to act spontaneously, but not too much. He wasn't that eager to learn what spending the rest of his life in prison would be. Some experience carried just too high of a cost. It really would. Okay. The photograph was snapped not too far from here, Carl noticed. The couple seemed to be very good friends. The couple radiated something akin to lightheartedness, to freedom. Perhaps some people out there truly found a way to live happily ever after. Well, not in this bloody town. A picture of Wilfred in his youth. Carl figured right away that the man must have been some kind of wildlife officer. Okay. We'll fill up the bottle. I don't know why. I oh, nutrients and keeping the things. What we got here? Toilet roll? No, I don't need to go. I have been in the town for a long time, but... I don't need to go. Anything in there? No. What's this one? Let's go in here. What a weird fucking picture. Who the fucking takes a picture like that? Who we got? We got the same fucking vinyls. Okay. TV don't work. Novel. It's just a novel. Okay. That's nothing really important, I don't think. Is there a light switch in here? Another gun rack! Novel page four. I hope that's nothing. Not a single weapon was left. All of them were gone. Bullets. Five. I'm guessing that's a pistol. I have got a pistol, so that's alright. Novel page two. Uh, it's just the whole same thing again. Canopoli, you win if you pass go. All oh, right, very good. All manners of clothing were gone, as if the Zoas drove out of town with their closet in tow. 
this is freaky this house okay one more room nothing in the bin oh no that takes you outside so there doesn't seem to be much in here then I'll have a log a logo okay this seems like a waste of time there's not even any uh, blue ice here To be honest, it is the first thing on the map that you come across, so might not be much here anyway. So where to now? Let's have a look. Cabin was that. There's nothing much at the cabin, I don't think. There's a secret project, but I need a crowbar, and I haven't come across a crowbar yet. We've been in the cave. There's a shack. We could go try the shack. You know, like ice cave we've been to. We didn't. Did we go in that cave? I don't think we went in that cave. We went in the ice cave. Let's go on an adventure. So it's either the shack or the cave. I think the cave. See you there. Right, we're here. The cave. I've got dynamite. Oh fuck. Kaboom. Yeah, I know, I know. I don't know whether to have the gun out or the light. No wolves. What wolves won't if it was a realistic game, they won't come out after a dynamite blast. But anyway. The second cave. The first one went well. <laughs> oh fuck. Wait a minute. Carl's inventory full. Wait, is this all it is? Cigarettes. Really? Is this really? Oh, that's a failure. I thought it was going to be something cool. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's just a cave. It's just a safe house. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Uh, right. Next one's going to be the shack, I'm guessing. Okay. Drive it up. Landslide. Another car. Hello. The trap was fresh. That meant the car sunk down just a little while ago. Now where the hell could the passengers possibly have gone? I'm guessing that way. The crossbow bolts had the same origin. Carl was sure of it. Who was it? And more importantly, what was being hunted like this? I oh, fucking hell, it's electricity. I thought someone was watching me then. A lone boot. Polaroid film. What can I do here? Oh, I just close it. Hello? Nothing in the glove compartment. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much here. Only void where the road should be. Carl hated dead ends. He felt trapped. It was as if the road had drowned in the lake. Yep. He would have to find help by another road. Okay, okay. Let's go. Let's step into the woods. I really would like the snowmobile, but I need. I ain't got anything to get past it. Hello? Ice wall. Oh, this is going to look good. Carl knew why he was suddenly shivering. He was going back to the realm of vision. Okay. Carl had no issue recognizing the spirit like figures, but he couldn't figure out what they wanted from him. The phantom, freed of reality's shackles, vanished in the forest. Earlier, 
Carl had witnessed the tragedy that befell it. Another phantom disappeared in the wilderness. Carl had seen what happened to it, too. A third phantom gently faded away. Carl noticed that as the cursed villagers finally left reality, he could feel a sense of unburdening exuding from them in an almost intimate way. That sounds rather pornographic. The phantom, lost in solitude up until now, joined the others in the forest's darkness, free at last to enjoy an eternal, well-deserved slumber. Carl was only beginning to understand the horror which had struck his village. He understood that the dead were piling up and that he couldn't help them by himself. The road was clear for him. He needed to push further north and fast to find help. What the fuck? This way. Okay, okay, we'll go this way. Nice wall gone. I feel like I need the snowmobile for this part. Yeah. I must need the snowmobile. I can't imagine walking all the way up there on foot. But if we go down, we can get to the shack. So let's go this way. That's a good idea. If we can. There's an old wall. Bastard in! Okay, okay. What I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and find the fucking thing to open the gate for the snowmobile. The key is down there. But I can't get it! But we'll get there, we'll get there. Alright, so I'll be back again. Ah, well, I'm in the shack. I decided to, I was driving past it anyway, so I was like, you know what, let's go to the shack. And it's a good job I did, because I've just found, oh, I can't see, can't see. Just found a key, a magnet, so I can get that key in that hole now, where I can't remember where the bloody hole is now, but um, I remember there being a hole and there's a key inside of it, so I can go and get that now. Oh, I love that. And it seems there's no light switch in here. I'm guessing not. But there's normally a lantern that you can put on. No? Bastards. But chainsaw. Oh, can I not? It would be too cumbersome to Oh really? Well I've got a magnet. We got a tool shed note. Paul and Jean-Pierre, don't forget to return the key to, for the cabin if you have to use it. Thank you, your supervisor. P.S. The next bus for Jigamongo Mongo will be October 12th next when it's two weeks late. I'm sorry for my pronunciation of that. Chibum, Chibu Gamu, Gamma, Gamma, yeah, Chibu Gamma. So we got a magnet now. Why can I not pick up the chainsaw? Why is there a hole in there? I don't know, but we can pick up the key for that shed now every time I come to these cabins right I just feel like once you've been in you come out there's gonna be someone there but there isn't there never is now you know let's take a log ah well to be honest I have just picked up a lot of shit let's take a picture of this boink Up there. Well, there is another hut. If uh, if I have a look on the map, there's another bed sit over there. So let's have a look over here. Maybe it will lead to the next victim. But if not, we can. I feel like there's footsteps behind me. It's someone following me. It's the combination of the music, the sounds, it does put you on edge, and I like it, it's good. It's just because I haven't, oh, here we go, oh, 
Is that a light of someone? Hello? Oh, we've got another crossbow. Carl was becoming increasingly convinced that this was not normal hunting. The game that was being tracked was fearsome. So much so that the hunter didn't dare approach it. What could it How be? could you get arrows? That hot. It's either it's just been recent. Oh, there's some sort of magical... Okay. Let's have a look in. I'm not even bothered now. Without a single window to brighten things up, the inside of the cabin was almost pitch black. Beware of close encounters of me and furniture. Okay. Duct tape. First aid, turn that off. Picture. Solitaire. Solitaire. A card game only hermits. Can, can I turn this on? Enjoy. Yes. I felt depressed at the thought of playing this. No. No. Bag. Empty. Suitcase with clean clothes. Okay. I ain't got no logs. Is there a log in here? Yes. Oh, too full. What's this? This toothbrush is still wet. Oh. Okay. So it doesn't seem to be much else in here. We went to the first shack and we got that magnet now. So we can go back and see what's in that other shack. Hopefully a crowbar. That's what I need. A crowbar. But anyway, we'll be back in a bit. Again, sorry about all this. Okay, we are back at the house. Well, the cabin sort of thing. It is um, Blair's house. Blair's house. With the landslide over there. Cool. And here it is. Carl's big fingers prevented him from reaching the key. But I've got the... Carl's big fingers prevented him from reaching the what? key. What? No! So what do I need to do? I've got the magnet. I'm pretty sure I got the magnet. Right, I think you need to attach the wire. Wired magnet. So let's try that now. Hopefully that does it. Because it's getting annoying me now. Just try I, I, There's got to be something good in here. Shack key. Shack key. What could well, to unlock shit. Garden shed? Carl couldn't reach it with his arm alone, but he had more than a few tricks up his sleeve to pick it up. What we got here, Mark? We got flares? Oh, I love that screw. There seems to be nothing on here that I can take. Another gas! Yay! Another empty gas canister. I don't need it. The chainsaw doesn't work. Well, that's good to know. There's nothing in here. Oh, come on. Really? Nothing of use? Oh, that's pissed me off now. <sighs> Maybe there's just different ways to get stuff. Maybe you shouldn't... You shouldn't need to go around to every single place. I don't think I need my magnet now, so I'll get rid of that. Ugh, it's annoying me now. Right, where, what? So, what was the point of turning the power to the garage? Does that have power now? Let's try. Let's see if the garage has power now. I would have thought the crowbar would have been in some sort of shed that I've got. I just can't find it, so I've come back here. Have we got a light switch anywhere? No. Ah, crowbar! The crowbar was stuck under the lift. Okay. Notwithstanding Carl's imposing stature, 
car lifting wasn't part of his skill set yet. So can I lift it? Ah! So we got the crowbar now. At long last, the crowbar was within Carl's. Grasp. Yes. Surely it would come in handy at some. Yes, point. it will. Yes, it will. Finally, I have been searching high. And I was getting really frustrated with this, trying to find out where the hell a crowbar was. I went all around the map, all around the map again, and I just couldn't find it. And I thought it, it kept saying that the general store had mysteries. So I thought it must have been here. And it is! Wait! So now we can get through the fence. Woo! We are here! And we're gonna break the fence. That's it. Boom! Yes! Finally! Finally! What we got here? Fire starter? Okay. Secret project. Let's see what all this secret project is. Let's hope it's better than the crappy flying saucer he made. Oh, do we go up? Secret project. Which way? Which way? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We are down here now. Okay, we'll go this way. This seems to be where the secret project is. Okay, okay. That large antenna in the middle of the path. Undoubtedly ideal in attempting to communicate with little green men. Was quite awkwardly placed. Okay, we can't go this way. There had to be a lever to control it. Maybe behind it. Carl would have to figure out how to reach it. Don't worry. I've got that covered. Dun, 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 there. Oh. Can we get past it here? There we go. What's this way? We got a bike? Another bag? Nothing in there. Where is this taking me? Oh, right. You know what? Let's get this sorted first and then we can go more adventures light please thank you come on I can't even remember this guy's name this inspector can't have been that good Jeff was it Jeff I think it was Jeff okay the electric terminals appear to be linked together but for what purpose? Okay, so we've got positive and negative. Do we have to... Can we tell which is which? So that's where the generator key was hiding. All that was left. Was okay. We've got a positive, which is the... I can't tell. I can't tell what color it is. It's too blue. Okay, let's try it here. There we go. Up there. Down there. Uh, 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 across. Changes color. Oh wait, it's going this way now. Okay, so positive is up. That's that done, I believe. Hopefully. <laughs> Where does red go? Ah! So red goes to negative. 
I hope. Like that, I'm hoping. Like that. Hmm. Give me a minute. Done it. Right. I think I've done it. I heard a noise. So you've got to put everything to positive to negative. So that's a positive. So the next one with wire, the, the blue, should be negative. So then you follow the positive to the wire to that, to that one. So you, then you put your negative to the wire you're following. So you follow the, the plus again. La, 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 la. And then take that to the negative. Then follow the plus, plus and that. So I think that's it. Open yes. Snowmobile key. Last, so big an effort for an old, so tiny piece You can of say that again. You can say that again. So, I am going to go get the snowmobile working now. I've been searching high and wide for this snowmobile. Oh, it's been so annoying. Especially that crowbar. That crowbar. Nearly the death of me and this game. <laughs> We're here. Finally. We got everything? Yes? Ready for this? Yes! Can I drive that? Yes, you can. Woo! Look at that! Yes! Oh, that's going to be make life so much easier. Oh. Ooh. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. I'm sorry for a long drawn out thing. We didn't really find much in this one, but we got the we got the snowmobile working and that was the main important thing of this episode was to get that finished. Get that working so we don't have to fucking walk everywhere and leave our van out in the open. So, thank you all very much for watching. I've been the Almighty Blob. This has been Kona. Peace and love, and as always, don't do anything I won't do. Bye.